This is an early prototype of the Nistira Wagon Chicken Coop. We've been using it for over a year and this is our long-term review. Welcome to English Country Life. My name's Fiona and this is Rhubarb. Together with my lovely husband Hugh, we run a small holding homestead here in South Lincolnshire in the UK. And today we're going to be looking at this. This is the Nestera Wagon Chicken Coop. And it's not like anything else on the market. It's got amazing visual appeal, but it's also incredibly functional. So what we're going to do today is we're going to take you through all of the features because we've been testing it extensively. We're going to be looking at the construction now it does take more than one person to construct this. You will need at least two people to pull this together. We're then going to be looking at the pros and cons so you can have a, a look at what's great about it but also what we think could be improved and you can make an informed decision about whether it's right for you and then we'll give you a discount code that you can apply to any Nestero product not just the wagon coupe at the end. Now with this coupe we have been testing it extensively. We've had it for about a year so we can talk we believe really expertly on the subject and what we've found is it's not only our choice of coop because we love the design and we love the functionality but it's a chicken's choice too now we've had two circumstances where we've got evidence of that the first is when we had some broody hens in there first of all we had marshmallow hatching her chicks in there and licorice who was hatching her chicks in a different coop decided to abandon that coop and join marshmallow in here it was her preferred choice so we had two broody hens with both their sets of chicks in this coop now that we're in the avian influenza enclosure we also got the circumstance where we've got six chickens in a different coop down the other end of the enclosure and six chickens in here because that's our winter stocking levels. It gives a cold snap, a night when it's a little bit colder, all 12 try and pile in here and Hugh and myself have a comedy act trying to separate those chickens out. But let's get started with this review and have a look at some of those key features of this wagon chicken coop. Before I look at what's specific about this coop, I just want to tell you some things that cover the Nisteria range because I think they are really important. And perhaps for me, the most important thing is a 25 year warranty. You find me any other chicken coop that comes even close to that and I'll be amazed. And if they won't offer you a warranty that long, you've got to ask yourself the question, why not? This coop is made from nine millimeter recycled plastic, which means it's thick, and it's robust and you know what it needs no maintenance there's no painting there's no staining the floors don't rot out this one has been out in all weathers for a year and it looks like we built it yesterday we've got others that we've had even longer and they all look brand new and for me who used to have to maintain upwards of eight coops every winter that is an amazing benefit but also being recycled plastic being made with green energy it's eco credentials are impeccable and i think that's a fantastic package of brilliantly long warranty no maintenance and fabulous eco credentials that really appeals to me now let's look at what's specific about this coop let's start at the front this is a prototype coop and it's important to tell you that and there's a couple of things already even as we look at the front that have changed on the production model hopefully as a result of some of the feedback that we got working with nistera firstly this prototype came with steps now we've used this as a broody coop and steps are not chick friendly so the production model now comes with a ramp which we much prefer the other point is you'll see this has got a chicken guard auto opener and closure on it and still make their own now they didn't when we got this over a year ago if I was to get one now and I wanted an opener and closer I would buy it with the Nestera opening closer that's designed for this coop it has a vertical pop hole door. You'll know from seeing our other videos that the rest of the Nestero range have what they call the pizza slice door, a rotating door. I'm old, I'm a traditionalist, I like vertical pop hole doors. There are lots of reasons for that, but I certainly appreciate the fact that this one has got a vertical pop hole. Now, let me show you, as an old man, one of my favourite features. Look at this. That is so 
easy to clean out. I am not wiggling my shoulders through a little hatch. I am not feeling all cramped up when I'm cleaning it out. I can virtually get in the coop. And for me, that makes the daily chore of poo picking so much easier. Any form of bedding change, any form of clean out, it's a doddle. I love it. I wanted to show you the perch arrangement because this is very different than the other Nestera coops. Because this coop has the advantage of added height, the perches are really up high. And that gives you the advantage of almost like a mezzanine floor where other birds can pass freely underneath if they want to get to the nest boxes, etc. And I really like that. It's also a different arrangement in that the perches sit in brackets. They don't pass through the side walls of the coops. If, like us, you've got big floofy lazy birds who like to sleep on the floor you can remove the perches without having to use blanking plates and that's great the other thing to point out while we're looking is that the whole interior is almost polished shiny which means you can just jet wash it out during cleaning and red mites got nowhere to hide we get asked a lot of questions about ventilation in the steerer coops and i want to cover this in some detail on the wagon this prototype has two adjustable vents at the top of the rear of the coop. The production version also has permanent vents above these adjustable vents at both the front and the rear. And that allows for really good airflow through the coop. And because it's high up, that's airflow and ventilation, but it doesn't create a draft on the chickens. In fact, this coop is better ventilated than any coop we've ever used. Right, I'm going to nerd out for you just for a moment on wheels. You probably don't know this, but both Fiona and I are qualified off-road drivers. And to paraphrase George Orwell, four wheels good, two wheels bad. If you're moving a coop around on rough grass and you've only got two wheels and there's an area where your chickens have been digging and they've created a divot, if one of the wheels goes into that dip, the whole coop lurches to one side. If you've got four wheels, the weight is absorbed by the other three wheels and it just glides over that kind of divot. In terms of the wheels themselves, if the wheels are narrow and they're short, it will drop into every little pothole in your grass. If they're tall and they're wide, it just glides over those without dropping in. The Nestera Coupe is light and it has four wide, tall wheels, and it's a joy to move. Now, this again is a test version of the Coupe, and on the production version, we recommended a couple of changes which they've made. One was to add a couple of handles to the front of the coop to make it easier to move. The other was we found if you left the coop on a slope, because it's so light and easy to move, it could actually roll. The production guys have now provided us with a couple of brakes that just clip onto the wheel. So when you've got it in place, it stops it rolling accidentally if you're on a bit of a slope. Just like all of our review videos, we like to give you not just the features and benefits of the coop, we also like to give you a balanced view and talk about some of the things which you may need to consider which aren't suitable for you, or things which we have asked and Sarah to look at that could be potential improvements for the future. And these may help you decide whether the wagon is the right purchase. 
So why am I kneeling down like this? Well, this is to demonstrate that kneeling down is something which you need to do if you're going to get this coop. Now for us, it's wonderful because we are using it as a broody coop and we have little chicks running in and out. If this coop was higher off the ground, it would be a big problem for us. But if you've got mobility issues, problems with your knees in terms of kneeling down on the floor or leaning over, the wagon may not be the coop for you because you can't clean it out without kneeling down or leaning over. Now the high coop in the stereo range may be more appropriate for you. So have a look at that one if that's a problem. Now the other mobility thing to consider, even though this is really easy to move around, it's got four wheels and it's very lightweight. If it had a towing bar, it may be easier for some people. And this is something which we've asked Nastera potentially to look at, have a detachable towing bar, so that if it's attached to the back of something like, I don't know, a tractor mower, you can move it around just a little bit more easily. But to us, it's actually not a big deal because we find it very, very easy with the four wide wheels to move it around all over the place without problems. Now, you might be wondering why have I got the door closed? And that's because I want to demonstrate something which may be something for you to consider as well. On the other Nostera Coops, there's a pizza slice door. And when that door closes completely, it closes into a reset. So it's completely secure. Now on this coupe, it's got an up and down door. And what you might notice is it's covering the pop hole entirely, but on the outside, there isn't a strip across the bottom here. So it's possible that a predator who gets in could get the snail underneath and open it up. Now Sarah have provided a solution to this, so I don't want you thinking that there isn't a solution already in place. And that is, you've got this push handle across the top, which means that's completely secure. And no matter what a predator did, they're not getting the snail underneath. And it also has to be said, these coops, I think, are more predator proof than wooden coops because wooden coops generally have some kind of lap arrangement and there's lots more things for predators to grip and pull apart. Whereas these, because they're recycled plastic, they're big sheets. There's very little for predators to actually grasp, get hold of and rip apart. So they're less likely to get in these coops, I believe, than a wooden coop. Anyway, back to the door issue. So there is a solution that Nostero have provided there, but that does mean if you've got an auto opener, that auto opener is not going to work with that locking mechanism in place. So you would have to let the chickens out manually in the morning and you would have to put that locking mechanism across manually at night. Now it's easily solved. You could actually do this yourself. You could actually just retrofit a little strip across the bottom. That means that no predator is going to get the snout underneath. So there are solutions there. Now, there's only one more minor thing which we would actually recommend you think about. There's a weatherproofing strip across the top of the nest box lid at the back. What Hugh found when he fitted it though is to keep that completely in place and to make it completely weatherproof it does need just a little bit of silicon sealant added before you actually push that weatherproofing strip into place. Now that's not a big deal. It's silicon sealant is in most homesteaders, most household um, properties because it's used readily for kitchen sinks, baths and all other places in the house. And if you don't have it, it's very, very cheap to buy from any DIY hard st hardware store, but it is something to consider. But all in all, for us, all of the benefits of this wagon coop vastly outweigh those things to consider. But we would say just have a think about it and there may be other coops in the stereo range which are more appropriate for you as a result. That's our review of the Nostero wagon. We didn't want to do it too early because we wanted to go through all the seasons. We wanted to have broody hens in it. We wanted to have chickens overwintering in it. We wanted to see how it stood up to the weather. It has been really, really good. I didn't realize when we first got it, how much the extra height was going to add to the utility, to the versatility and to the performance of the coop. But for things like ventilation, it is making an enormous difference to the coop. You can have the perches in different places and so on and so forth. So overall, we absolutely love this coop. And let's not leave aside the fact that, you know, if you are from the US, it looks like a Conestoga wagon. If you're from the UK, for me, it probably is a bit reminiscent of a Romani Vardo, you know, a boat top type caravan. I think they look fantastic 
fantastic and that really matters. Things don't have to be ugly and functional. Sometimes we want things to be a bit beautiful and to enhance our lives. And I think this really, really does the trick. So overall, we think it's a fabulous coupe. It is my personal favourite of all the coupes that we own. And don't forget, you can get a discount. Look down in the description, follow our link and a discount will be automatically applied for you at checkout. If you've enjoyed today's video, can you spare us five seconds? Give us a thumbs up down below. If you have any questions on chicken keeping, chicken coops, this coop in particular, or coops in general, please leave us a comment and we'll either answer it in the comments or make another video to address that for you. If you'd like to see those videos and everything else we do on self-sufficient living, click on subscribe if you haven't subscribed to the channel, hit the bell next to it. It's a totally free service, but you'll hear every time we upload a new video. For today, thanks for watching. Come back and see us soon. Take care.